Hi there guys, there's a couple of things I want to show you today. Um, you all know I've been working on my computer for a while. I've also been working on my compiler, that's not my compiler. But um, this is running some code at the minute that I've written in Spoon, my language. I'll show you what the code is before I show you what it does. But it's quite fun to play with. Um, here's the code. So we've got a sleep function which does nothing end time, so takes time as an argument. And main function is a loop. We're going to read in a value, a time period from debug input, which is these little red switches here in binary. We're going to sleep for that time period, clear the debug output, sleep again, and set the debug output to 1, uh, which is not 0. This is an NFC instruction. So, code's running right now. I'm going to plug the speaker in. And that's a bit sharp because this is 0 right here. Um, most significant bit on the right. Least significant on the left. It's actually upside down. Time period set to one. Pitch has gone down. So it's generating a square wave, which is being played by this little transducer here. It's just fun to play with. Uh, might see a Tetris theme being played at some point. See how things go in the future. Other bit of code I want to show you is, well, it's this one. We've got a few support functions, and we read in a number from debug input. We end off the top two bits, which form our operation selector, and then we operate in the last six bits. So, if it's zero, we increment. If it's one, we decrement. If it's two, we shift left. If it's three, we shift right. So that's running the simulator. Um, at stunning speed of 2 kilohertz. Real computer runs at 2.5 megahertz. So here we've got, let's see, we've got an input of 10 binary, A1010, and we've got an output of 11, so that's deck, that's an increment, uh, operation to 1. That should now give us decrement, binary value of 9. Um, shift left, same as multiplication by 2. So we've got 20 in binary and a right shift. This will take a while, 2 kilohertz, <laughs> not so fast. Give us 5. There we go. So that's what I've been working on. All seems to be going the right. I've got a couple more language features to add. And then I'm going to start working on performance, optimizing object code size and performance, yeah. I'm using this as a benchmark at the minute, just to see how fast it's running. Okay, cheers guys. Thanks for watching.